Hello traders, I wish a profitable month to all of you. In this video we are going to master the reversal trading technique. Often traders have the tendency to catch the tops and the bottoms, but this involve high amount of risk, if we compare it with trend trading. This is why we need to follow a protocol, when trading these zones. In this example here, both support and resistance level worked perfectly, but this rarely happens as perfect as it shows, we often see fake out or so called manipulations of the price that tends to stop out the majority of retail traders, which mean us. Important is not jump into trades just because you see a resistance and support level. You need to dig deeper and add an extra layers of confirmations before entering. For example, the proper entry of this resistance is recommended after the established of second lower high, and so on. The change of structure, the market sentiment is essential for a high probability reversal trade. We are going to break down step by step the all process, with pros and cons, in order to help you to implement these tips on your trading plan. On a bigger picture we have a double bottom formation. Next step is to highlight the structure in order to evaluate the market sentiment. As we can see, the price broke the last lower high, this is a sign of trend reversal. As we often have seen on textbook pattern, after a break of lower high, price pullbacks towards the last demand zone, that is located at same levels as second to previous lower low. But as we already know by our experience, most of the times the market is not perfect as we want, and one textbook pattern can produce many derivatives from itself. Price is touching the support level. Even though the support and resistance is a good strategy, in this case the pullback is a little bit short, and price have more room to continue to pull back. This is pure assumption, but is based on the current market structure and price action. This is why we are going to look for a potential reversal levels below the current support. We need to shift on lower time frame in order to find more information. We are here on one hour time frame. The first element that we noticed right away, it's the fresh rally base rally demand zone. Just below it, very close, it's located a drop base rally demand zone that is more noticeable on 4 hour time frame. The first demand on 1 hour time frame becomes a hidden demand on 4 hour time frame. Above these two zones we have an imbalance zone. Order imbalances exist when there is an excess of buy or sell orders for a specific pair. Price often come back to fill these value gaps, unfilled orders, and then continue in opposite direction. Recommended broker is Longhorn FX. How to sign up? It's as simple as entering a few sign up details and creating a password. Be ready to receive a welcome email, where you can later verify your account. To secure your account it's recommended an extra step of verification, even by call or text message. Simply enter the code you have been given, and you will be two steps closer to starting to trade. Our initial entry zone was at first demand zone, after the all imbalance zone fills. Because we have both demand zones very close, it's recommended to put the stop loss below the second one, in order to be safe from unexpected candle wicks. We are going to target the supply zone above the recent high. Price continued the pullback, entered the imbalance zone, and was few pips close to our entry zone, but didn't touch it. Made a second attempt but ended up creating a double bottom and bounced in upside direction touching the supply zone. We can use this supply zone to enter a short term sell trade. If the first buy trade had triggered, I wouldn't have enter a sell trade at supply zone, because I prefer to be humble, and enjoy the profits. The target for this short term trade, is hidden demand zone that was created during the bullish impulse. Below it, we have another demand zone that worthwhile considering. As we can clearly see, we had almost the same situation, two demand zones close to each other, and a pullback to be complete. After a missed entry, market recompense this time with a perfect trade. All you need is patience, and sooner or later you are going to get the reward that you deserve. As we can see, the price is moving as we expected and touched the first demand zone, the hidden one. And as we did on the first setup on this pair, we are going to define the next fresh supply zone, that will serve as a target for the buy trade. 
We had two options, to enter right away at the edge of the demand zone or wait for bullish confirmation candle. When we choose the first option, the stop loss is recommended below the both demand zones. On the second option, the stop loss is recommended below the hidden demand zone. The target remains the same for both options. To add an extra confirmation layer, we can shift on time frame even lower and wait for break of mini counter trend that was created during the pullback. We have also a break of parallel channel that strengthened the bullish bias that we had based on higher time frames. Price consolidate for a while and bounced in upside direction, reaching in this way the full target. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Stay tuned for the next one.